top 10 World Cup songs. Um, I used to be, or I used to watch this because it was everywhere and when you're watching it now, it's everywhere as well. Um, it's pretty funny because when I looked up, you know, the World Cup by Watchmojo, I actually got uh, top 5 nations that failed to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. And it's pretty crazy because, spoiler alert, Italy is number 1 and they won in 2006 against French when um, that French dick did, you know, the headbutt. I can still remember that, but, but I forgot his name, but that was pretty funny. And pretty disrespectful, of course, but still was a pretty insane moment, nonetheless. Um, and the Netherlands was on there as well, you know, my, uh, my homeland, I guess. And we were in the finals in 2010 and uh, in the semi-finals in 2014, but we aren't even qualified now because we fucking suck. Uh, but it was like pretty high back then because I had less going on, but now I really don't give a fuck about football anymore. Uh, but yeah, the World Cup songs are pretty shit as well. Uh, Shakira's number one, or number one, she's on the thumbnail, I guess. Maybe she even is number one because that video is like has like a billion views, but who knows? What the fuck is this? Oh, Jason Derulo. Are you fucking kidding me, man? That was the most cringiest intro ever yet by them. We publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be ranking the most popular or... Music fan has requested this. He did not... Um, he did not warn me for this cringy ass intro. Just so long as they were closely associated or easily identifiable with the games. Number 10, The Time of Our Lives, Bill Debo and Tony Braxton. We kick off our Tony Braxton, Jesus Christ. At first glance, that is like that bitch that wasted all of her money away with her one hit song. With the Unbreak My Heart, that's cringy as shit. Classical vocal icons Il Devo and American singer Tony Braxton for a slow and moving ballad used during the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Yeah, because she's so outdated. It's the melding of two genres that makes the time of You and watch more of agrees. And proves that sometimes musical opposites can attract. That was like the most straightforward, uh, straightforward fist bump ever. Daryl Hall and Sounds of Blackness. Music fans may closely associate Daryl Hall with the 1980s music scene, but the blue-eyed soul singer is very respected as an artist. Even chalking up this anthem for the 1994 World Cup in the United States. Paul collaborated with the award winning vocal group Sounds of Blackness for this song, which adapts a melody slightly similar to the Battle Hymn of the Republic, while evoking mental images of America's heartland. class as his charismatic vocals blend perfectly with the power of sound of blackness. It's one heck of an anthem indeed. You're boring as fuck. Number eight, we are one. Ole Ola. Pitbull featuring Jennifer. Yeah, Park music from Warbian for this. We're not sure why FIFA decided that the 2014 Brazilian World Cup needed a bomb of booty shaken beats, but that's what they got when they brought Pitbull, Jennifer Lopez, and Claudio Leite to the party. Biggest piece of shit yet. We Are One, Ole Ola, is a dance anthem that boasts a sexy groove and a sing-along chorus that's super easy to learn, ensuring that football fans would be dancing in their seats in no time. Ensuring that football fans would be dancing in their seats in no time. Fucking disgusting. We Are One, Ole Ola, is probably one of the most fun songs on this list, a hot and breezy jam perfect for the Brazilian games. Number seven, Anthem, Vangelis. Vangelis may be known primarily for Fucking his soundtrack big right there. his career with formidable prog 
first Aphrodite's child. But did you know he also contributed the instrumental anthem to the Korean-Japanese World Cup in 2002? The song was appropriately titled The World so Anthem and was released in an orchestral version as well as the electronic You did like 30 minutes to kick a ball in the air. Responsible for one of the worst music videos ever. Just should have an annoying ass adds him a fucking fade before show me to me. Number five, El Rock del Mundial, Los Ramblers. Everything has a beginning. When it comes to FIFA World Cup anthems, that beginning is El Rock del Mundial by Los Ramblers. The soundtrack to the seventh World Cup back in 1962. The games that year were held in Chile, which may bring to mind some sort of bossa nova or tropicalia sound, right? This list doesn't do anything for me. Nope. El Rock del Mundial is a tired and true slice of old-fashioned rock and roll. The sort of swinging tune that wouldn't sound out of place blaring at a drive-in, or as the soundtrack to a soft hop. Still, Los Rapplers know how to write a catchy tune, and it somehow all works perfectly. Number four, World in Motion. Order. Oh, there we go. We mentioned Giorgio Moroder's 1990 World Cup anthem. Just like the first good pick on this list. Italian games that year also had an unofficial song, one that also brought the electronic thunder. I mean, for them having a World Cup song, that's pretty major. New Order were formed from the ashes of post punk icons Joy Division and adapted a dance friendly 80s aesthetic to their formerly gloomy sound, achieving a number of hits in the process. World in Motion was a smash for New Order, serving as their only number one hit at home, even featured a guest rap verse from one of the English players. Oh, John Jesus. That's not that bad. But, also infectious and but having a featured rapper that's not good. Coca-Cola Celebration Mix, Kena. The next song on our list was originally recorded by Somali hip hop reggae fusion artist Kana. Oh, Kana. I've heard of that song. Coca Cola Celebration Mix, Kana. The next song on our list was originally recorded by Somali hip hop reggae fusion artist Kana. I believe that um, he collaborated with uh, Orvin Nant. A great band. And of course, David Guetta and uh, that other piece of shit have to take oh, a shit on it. Of course. Of course, when you have something good on the end, everybody has to take, has to take shit on it. has made a collaboration with Emma Sefer and they made the record uh, Knean. Yeah, I believe. So I don't know if that is a... 
tributes to fucking Knaian, but I don't know. This time for Africa, Shakira featuring Freshly Ground. Kano's wave and playing was Freshly Ground. I didn't even know that it had, that it had the feature. It's not as bad as the 2014 one, but number two is way too high. That's so much fucking dog shit. Hey, you thought that the 2010 was half assed. Jesus Christ. Boom, uh, anest an anesthesia. Spelled very wrongly, but nobody noticed. Because football fans. Uh, celebrate the day, Herbert Gronemeyer featuring Amadou at Machan, something like that. Marion. Lacour des Grands, uh, Yusu and Dur and Axel Rudd. Oh, this is fucking more shit right here. Fucking Ricky Martin, man. Disgusting. Ricky Martin is one of the biggest pieces of shit ever. Fucking horrible. He doesn't do anything on stage. He just plays his ghost written fucking anthem on here. Most difficult songs to sing, not this one, Jesus Christ. Not any one of the, the, the songs on here. Uh, yeah, that was a horrible list. Probably the worst list I've reacted to in a while. And yeah, I should have seen it coming because Music Fan was already kind of like, ooh, it's pretty shit, but let me know if you want to react to it. That was probably a really horrible idea, so I'm gonna look out for those in the future. Because I knew it was shit, but I didn't know it was this bad, Jesus. There was only like one good pick on there, and that was the New Order one. Uh, so I'm gonna look for the next request. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, like this video. Probably not. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. I've been on so hope you have enjoyed this video. God bless, safe, take care, peace. Um, yeah, we can check out the comments, I guess. Waving flag, yeah, waving flag was easily the best one, or one of the less shittier ones, I guess. Wave, yeah, Walter White is just fucking spamming waving flag over and over. Most comments here were not even born yet when Ricky Martin's Cup of Life debuted it. It was like Gangnam Style level of Frenchy back then. Where's Dario G? Where, yeah, Walter White is just pissing the fuck out of me, man. With the waving flag. I mean, it. yeah, it, it's probably number two for me, but, you know, still not as good as, uh, as songs that I like, so there we go. All the other things I just said, and peace.